Hey, hey, it's Kat. What I wanted to share with you today is definitely not the direction I had intended to go with these video messages, but it's something that, you know, sort of has been bubbling up in me over the last couple of years, and I guess, I don't know, right now it's just kind of dying to come out, and I'm just going to let it come out. You know, my purpose isn't to have the most video views or to be like the most, but to um, spread truth and help people to be more free, ultimately. I'm ready to see people break free and be who they truly are, and I think that's so exciting. So one of the things, all that being said, one of the things that I really want to share is, you know, I was having this conversation with a friend, and she had said something like, you know, her, her mom wasn't happy with a decision that, you know, she had been making, you know, about a guy that she was dating. And her mom even said something like, God will, you know, punish you, you know, blah, 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 blah. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, ah, no, 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 God does not punish us. Trust me, I know what the Bible says. I know, you know, all the stories in the Bible. I studied it for many years. I know what's in there. I know what we've heard, what we've learned, but that's just not true. God does not punish us. <laughs> so I know you might be thinking, well, how do, how do you know God or something? And that's fine. I do know God. And you know what? You know God as well. You know him in your heart of God, heart. you know, he's in you. He lives and breathes every cell of your being. But we've been, you know, taught by people and it's not any one person's fault. It's just sort of, you know, our consciousness as a whole, you know, and it's time for us to evolve out of that, to see that, you know, to not live in that fear. It, it is never God punishing us. Our actions have consequences, of, sh of, of course. You know, they, our actions have an effect, but it's not about living in this fear of being punished and not during, doing something because you're afraid of being punished. It's about knowing who you are. When you know who you are and who is living and breathing you, then, you know, the actions that you take in, in your life come from this place of, of love and, and flow and peace, not from this, you know, fear of punishment. Actually in Belgrade, I remember this one, you know, one day I was walking down the street and um, walking behind these two teenage girls and one of them kind of like stumbled upon this like crack and she goes, you know, in Serbian, she goes, see, that's God punishing me for what I was just saying. And, I don't know how she worded it. I just remember I, I got the impression that maybe she was like talking bad about somebody with her friend and now, you know, this is God punishing her. And it's like how I see that, you know, something like that happening. You know, you're talking bad about somebody, you trip. So you see it as like, it's not that God's punishing you. It's that now you are actually, because you're talking bad about somebody, that's not in line with who you are. That's not in line with love, with your being with your spirit. So now you're sort of in this low level energy and you might then sort of, you know, you're not flowing now. So you might trip or you might attract some sort of other negative thing into your life because you are now vibing at a negative energy, not because God's punishing you, you know, so we don't see God as this, you know, being up there somewhere in the sky you know, watching, looking down on us, being like, oh, she did something bad, let's punish her. It's just such a, you know, fear-driven way to live. No, we see that, you know, God is love. He lives in us. He lives through us. And so we can, you know, choose to flow, you know, in, in that, flow in that beingness, or we can, you know, choose to step out of it and make decisions that are based on a lower vibration, you know, like fear, you know, and, and things like that. You know, I just think that God has had some really bad PR. <laughs> uh, he needs a new PR agent. I'm going to be his new PR agent. <laughs> no, I mean, and it's, it's, it's really nobody's fault per se. 
throughout all history, we as humans have been trying to understand God. And so, you know, what we've understood of him, you know, until now may have just may just be what how much we were able to understand of him. So that's why I want to encourage you to, you know, that you know God personally. You have him inside of you. And so you can, you know, begin to go there and, you know, discover who he really is and who you truly are ultimately, as opposed to, you know, basing it, basing it on what you've heard, learned, you know, the conditioning that we've all been under. I just don't want to see people living like that anymore, you know, as, as you do get to know divine on a personal level for yourself and you, and you get to know him flowing through you or it flowing through you, divine flowing through you. Uh, I love the book, The Shack that by um, William Paul Leung that portrays, uh, that portrays God as uh, like a plump black woman. I'm like, oh, I love that, you know? So it's time that we stop seeing it like that and stop using, you know, God and um, as a way to control people and and even as a way to, you know, limit and control ourselves because God divine is, is freedom, it's, it flows, it's love. So let's show the world what divine truly is. That's all for now. I will talk to you again soon. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to hear more from me, and you could also go to my website, www.katerinaillick.com and go to my contact page if you'd like, if there's any way that I can support you on your journey and path to discovering you, the journey to you. And we can, you know, set up a consultation and, and see if we can work together. So talk to you again soon. Ciao.